Then wait for two minutes. Okay. Okay, Ben, this is our last topic. If you could still remember this, this is our last topic. Okay, so okay, we talk. Sorry, okay, we talk this band about the different uh, different vocabulary. We mentioned about electricity. We mentioned about bill. We mentioned about fire, coke, fridge, coach. Okay. So these are the vocabulary words that we have talked about, okay? So we have, you understand all of these words? Did you understand? Yeah. Okay, very good, that's great. And now let's have here, okay, allow and reduction. It means reduction going down, okay? So we are done with this. You were able to listen, right? You're done? No. Not yet? Yeah. Ah, not yet? First time. Ah, first time. Okay. Let us lesson this one. What is this? 3.1. Oh, well, Ben. 3.1. Wait. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Now we are ready to start. Look at question one. One. 
How does the man travel to Liverpool? Excuse me, I'd like to go to Liverpool on Friday. Well, you can go by bus or train. Is the train expensive? Yes, the bus is much cheaper. It's only twenty pounds. Right, that's better for me. Can I have a ticket, please? Yes, certainly. Now listen again. Excuse me, I'd like to go to Liverpool on Friday. Well, you can go by bus or train. Is the train expensive? Yes, the bus is much cheaper. It's only twenty pounds. Right, that's better for me. Can I have a ticket, please? Yes, certainly. Which bill has just arrived? Is that the electricity bill? No, it's the water bill. Is it very big? Not as bad as last time. Oh, good. Now listen again. Is that the electricity bill? No, it's the water bill. Is it very big? Not as bad as last time. Oh, good. Three. What will they do tomorrow afternoon? This is a beautiful beach. Shall we come again tomorrow? Don't we have to go shopping? We can do that in the morning and come here in the afternoon. Okay. And let's bring Joe and Linda with us. Now listen again. This is a beautiful beach. Shall we come again tomorrow? Don't we have to go shopping? We can do that in the morning and come here in the afternoon. Okay. And let's bring Joe and Linda with us. Four. How did the man hear about the fire? How did you hear about the fire? It wasn't on the television news. No, it wasn't in the newspaper either. Sandra phoned and told me about it. Oh, I see. Now listen again. How did you hear about the fire? It wasn't on the television news. No, it wasn't in the newspaper either. Sandra phoned and told me about it. Oh, I see. Five. What time did Mr. Thompson ring? Have there been any calls for me this morning? Yes, Mr. Thompson rang about the computer. Oh. What time was that? About 9.30. Can you ring him at 2 o'clock this afternoon? Yes, OK. Now listen again. Have there been any calls for me this morning? Yes, Mr. Thompson rang about the computer. Oh. What time was that? About 9.30. Can you ring at 2 o'clock this afternoon? Yes, OK. This is the end of part one. Hey, Ben. Mm -hmm.
Okay. Okay. So first we have here one to five questions. How does the man travel to Liverpool? Your answer? Letter C, correct. Okay. Which bill has just arrived? Which bill has just arrived? Okay. It's the water bill. It's the water bill that arrived. Okay. Next. What will they do tomorrow afternoon? What they'll they do tomorrow afternoon? Letter B. They will go to the beach. Okay. Next. How did the man hear about the fire? Throw the phone. Very good, Ben. Okay, perfect. What time did Mr. Let us see this one. Mr. Thompson ring. Oh, it's letter A. Oh, it's 9.30 or half past nine. Okay. okay. Let's move to the next. For question six to ten. Okay. Question six to ten. Listen to Jim and Julie talking at a party. What do the guests want to eat or drink? For question six to ten, write a letter A to H next to each person. So these are the people and these are the suggested drink that we want. Let us see what do real what do they really want to drink? Part one. Now look at part two. Listen to two people talking at a party. What do the guests want to eat or drink? For questions 6 to 10, write a letter, A to H, next to each person. You will hear the conversation twice. Hello, Julie. Your new flat is really nice. Thanks, Jim. It's nice to see all my friends here. Yes. The living room's certainly full of people. Uh, Kevin wants to know if you have any orange juice. Yes, I have. Everybody's hungry or thirsty, aren't they? Of course. It's a party. Would you like me to help you? Oh, yes, please. Could you make a sandwich for Barbara? What does she want in it? She asked for cheese. And Paul wants an ice cream. Fine. I'll make the sandwich and get the ice cream for him. What does Diana want? She isn't hungry. Uh. She just wants a glass of milk. What about the other guests? Do they want anything? I don't think so. Oh, what about you, Jim? What do you want? I'll just get a bottle of Coke from the fridge. Do you want some, Julie? No, thanks. After all this work, I need a cup of tea. Now listen again. Hello, Julie. Your new flat is really nice. Thanks, Jim. It's nice to see all my friends here. Yes. The living room's certainly full of people. Uh, Kevin wants to know if you have any orange juice. Yes, I have. Everybody's hungry or thirsty, aren't they? Of course. It's a party. Would you like me to help you? Oh, yes, please. Could you make a sandwich for Barbara? What does she want in it? She asked for cheese. And Paul wants an ice cream. Fine. I'll make the sandwich and get the ice cream for him. What does Diana want? She isn't hungry. Uh. She just wants a glass of milk. What about the other guests? Do they want anything? I don't think so. 
Oh, what about you, Jim? What do you want? I'll just get a bottle of Coke from the fridge. Do you want some, Julie? No, thanks. After all this work, I need a cup of tea. This is the end of part two. Okay, where is your answer, Ben? Why it's lost? <laughs> okay, please try to answer. Okay. Okay. Let us have here. So first is Barbara. What do you think Barbara drink or eat? So Barbara, you said it's letter F. Okay, we have here the coffee, the Coca-Cola, ice cream, milk, orange juice, sandwich, tea, and water. Okay, first we have letter F, correct? Barbara wants to eat sandwich next letter c letter c it's ice cream barbara wants the ice cream very good ah no sorry paul next is diana diana letter d wants to have the milk and okay and letter b it's the coke Okay, and number 10, G. Letter B, G. Okay, letter B, G. Okay. Okay, Ben. Okay. Okay, so let's move here. Okay, for these questions, listen to a man asking for information in a travel agency. For questions 11 to 15, check A, B, or C. Check A, B, or C. You will hear the conversation twice. <laughs> listen. Now listen to the conversation. Hello. Good morning. Can I help you? Well, I have to go to Argentina next week, so I'd like some information about flying to Buenos Aires. Okay. Well, there are direct flights uh, on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And... What time do they leave? At 2 p.m. on all three days. Okay. Wednesday is best for me. Now, how can I get to the airport? Is there a bus? Yes. You'll have to check in at the airport at 12 o'clock. So you could take the 10 o'clock coach from the bus station in Mill Street. In Mill Street. Okay. How long does the coach take? About one and a half hours. And how much is a single ticket to Buenos Aires? Well, a single to Buenos Aires is 300 pounds. But if you have a student card, there's a 20% reduction. Yes, I've got a student card. Um, yeah, here it is. Okay, so the flight will be... Uh, 240 pounds right and the coach fare that's 13 pounds 50. okay i'll book it please okay. 
Now listen again. Hello. Good morning. Can I help you? Well, I have to go to Argentina next week, so I'd like some information about flying to Buenos Aires. Okay. Well, there are direct flights uh, on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And what time do they leave? At 2 p.m. on all three days. Okay. Wednesday is best for me. Now, how can I get to the airport? Is there a bus? Yes. You'll have to check in at the airport at 12 o'clock, so you could take the 10 o'clock coach from the bus station in Mill Street. In Mill Street. Okay. How long does the coach take? About one and a half hours. And how much is a single ticket to Buenos Aires? Well, a single to Buenos Aires is 300 pounds. But if you have a student card, there's a 20% reduction. Yes, I've got a student card. Um, yeah, here it is. Okay, so the flight will be, uh, 240 pounds. Right, and the coach fare? That's 13 pounds 50. Okay, I'll book it, please. This is the end of part three. Okay, so here, Ben. Okay, so please, number 11. The plane leaves at what time? Okay, it is 2 p.m. teacher. And the bus station is in where? It is in Mill Street. Mill Street. And then... The journey to the airport takes how many hours and how many minutes? It takes one hour and 30 minutes. And the man's ticket to Buenos Aires, well, 240 pounds. And the coach costs how much when you ride the bus? It is, very good, Ben, 13.50. Okay, great job, Ben. Next one here. Okay, you can see this one, the question 16 to 20. You will hear a girl talking about her brother, Tony. You listened and complete question 16 to 20. You will hear the conversation twice. Okay. Now look at part four. You will hear a conversation about Tony. Listen and complete questions 16 to 20. You will hear the conversation twice. Excuse me, you're a friend of Tony's, aren't you? Yes. Why? Oh, he's had an accident. I'm his sister. He wants his school friends to visit him in hospital. Oh dear, that's terrible. Is he okay? He fell off his bicycle and hurt his leg. But he's not too bad. Which hospital is he in? The city hospital, near the university. You know where it is, don't you? Yes. Oh, poor Tony. His room's G8. Okay. Is the room easy to find? Yes. It's on the third floor near the lift. And when can we visit him? Well, the visiting hours are from 4 to um, 7 every day. Well, I'll go off to school today. Does he want anything? I expect something to read would be nice. Some magazines, perhaps. OK. I'll take him some. Now listen again. 
Excuse me, you're a friend of Tony's, aren't you? Yes. Why? Oh, he's had an accident. I'm his husband. He wants his school friends to visit him in hospital. Oh dear, that's terrible. Is he okay? He fell off his bicycle and hurt his leg. But he's not too bad. Which hospital is he in? The city hospital, near the university. You know where it is, don't you? Yes. Oh, poor Tony. His room's G8. Okay. Is the room easy to find? Yes. It's on the third floor near the lift. And when can we visit him? Well, the visiting hours are from four to um, seven every day. Well, I'll go off to school today. Does he want anything? I expect something to read would be nice. Some magazines, perhaps. OK. I'll take him some. This is the end of part four. <laughs> Okay. Let us check here. Tony's had an accident. Hello. Okay. So we have here, what's the name of the hospital? Okay. City. Room. The city hospital. It's the city hospital, correct. What's the room number? Very good, Ben. Very good. It's number G8, not TH. Okay, T8. 13th floor. Third, yeah. Third band. T H I R D. Third, okay. Visiting hours. Correct. 7 p.m. Very good band. Please take what? Magazine or any something to read. Yes. Good job, Ben. Okay. Here you will have to hear the information about farm animals. What can you see in the farm? Okay. And how much is cost? Off you go. Now look at part five. You will hear some information about a farm. Listen and complete questions 21 to 25. You will hear the information twice. This weekend, why not visit Park Farm in the lovely village of Newhampton for a day in the country that the whole family will enjoy. Come and see the farm animals. Go for a walk across the fields and take the children to the mini zoo. Afterwards, you can look around the gift shop or have a snack or a drink in the Black Cat Tea Room. From the tea room, you can watch your children playing outside. Park Farm is open every day from half past ten in the morning to five o'clock in the evening. An adult ticket costs six pounds, and children between three and sixteen pay four pounds. But you can save money with a family ticket, which costs seventeen pounds. Dogs are not allowed on the farm, so please leave your dog at home. To find Park Farm, follow the signs in the village. The farm is very near to the river. 
We look forward to seeing you soon at mm. Park Farm. <laughs> Now listen again. This weekend, why not visit wait, wait, I mean, Park Farm the in the lovely village of Newhampton for a day in the country that the whole family will enjoy. Come and see the farm animals. Go for a walk across the fields and take the children to the mini zoo. Afterwards, you can look around the gift shop or have a snack or a drink in the Black Cat Tea Room. From the tea room, you can watch your children playing outside. Park Farm is open every day from half past ten in the morning to five o'clock in the evening. An adult ticket costs six pounds and children between three and sixteen pay four pounds. But you can save money with a family ticket which costs 17 pounds. Dogs are not allowed at the farm, so please leave your dog at home. To find Park Farm, follow the signs in the village. The farm is very near to the river. We look forward to seeing you soon at Park Farm. This is the end of part five. You now have eight minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet. Teacher, stop the tape here and time eight minutes. This is the end of the test. Hello. Okay. Ben, we have here farm animals. Okay. We have here the farm animals. The black. Okay. In the farm animals, you will see food. Okay. You will see the food in where? Black cat tea room. And it opens at 10.30 a.m. And it is the family ticket cost, 17 pounds. Okay. Don't bring what? Dogs. Dogs are not allowed to come. Next. Not from? Not far from where? Okay. Did you get perfect, Ben, with this? Perfect. Yes. Wow, very good. Okay. So, oh, you finished it already. Let's move to the next. Okay. Let's move to 3.2. Let's continue 3.2. Oh, 
Okay, so we're gonna continue B20, okay? Now, we have here the different vocabulary. First one is the platform, okay? This is how platform looks like then. Can you see platform? This is the train station. This is the platform, okay? That is what we call platform feature. Okay. Next is parking or oh, you know already what is parking like that no parking there is the sign of letter p it's no parking fail okay fail next is oh you got failed okay next is play next is play okay play Next is appointment. It's appointment. Appointment. Next is okay, doctor's appointment. Next is accident. Accident. Next, emergency call. Okay, that's 911, emergency call. Please try to look at questions one to five. Okay, questions one to five. Now we are ready to start. Look at question one. One. Oh, we're done what with color this. is Kathy's bedroom now? Okay, why Ben? We're done with this. Okay. Yeah, we're done. We are done? Yeah. What is 3.2? Yeah, now we're ready done. to start. Oh, we done. Okay. Look at Okay. So wait, so we are going to finish here. I guess this is the one that we are not yet finished. Okay? Yes. Okay, how about this? Not yet. I don't think so. Okay, so let us listen. This is about rose. Oh, let us hear about rose. Oh, this oh, one. Oh, oh, I finished that. And you finished the art. Okay. So next one here. About this one. About the woman. Okay, that one. Not yet. Not yet, Ben? Okay, let's move here. Now look at part three. Listen to Peter talking to a friend about learning to drive. For questions 11 to 15, tick A, B, or C. You will hear the conversation twice. Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds. Now listen to the conversation. Peter, you're learning to drive, aren't you? Do you go to the AA driving school? Actually, it's called the ABC driving school. Is it expensive? I want to learn to drive. It's cost me £140 already. I've had 10 lessons, and each one is £14. Is that for an hour? Um, less than that. 
about three quarters of an hour. I see. And is the teacher's car new? Yes, and it's not a big car, so parking's easy. But it doesn't go very fast. When are you going to take your driving test? I failed it last week. The traffic lights were red, but I didn't see them, and I couldn't brake in time. Oh, never mind. You can take the test again. Tell me about your teacher. Is he friendly? He's okay. He's quite young and interesting to talk to. But my father will give me my next lessons. He's cheaper. <laughs> well, good luck. Now listen again. Peter, you're learning to drive, aren't you? Do you go to the AA driving school? Actually, it's called the ABC driving school. Is it expensive? I want to learn to drive. It's cost me a hundred and forty pounds already. I've had ten lessons, and each one is fourteen pounds. Is that for an hour? Um, less than that. About three quarters of an hour. I see. And is the teacher's car new? Yes, and it's not a big car, so parking's easy. But it doesn't go very fast. When are you going to take your driving test? I failed it last week. The traffic lights were red, but I didn't see them, and I couldn't brake in time. Oh, never mind. You can take the test again. Tell me about your teacher. Is he friendly? He's okay. He's quite young and interesting to talk to. But my father will give me my next lessons. He's cheaper. <laughs> well, good luck. This is the end of part three. This is the last band. Okay. Each driving lesson cost how much? Okay. You said letter B. Let us check. Letter B, teacher Anne. Oh, it's letter A, 14 pounds. A lesson is how many minutes? It is 45 minutes. The teacher's car is? Slow, old, or big? Slow. Peter failed the test because he blanked. He didn't stop the traffic lights. And Peter thinks the teacher is too, what? Expensive. Okay. Yeah, you got one mistake on the great job, Ben. Yeah, very good. Okay. You're doing great. Okay, so Ben, teacher will give you homework. Okay, I will give you homework about this one. Okay. Okay, Ben, what is your homework? Okay, sorry. I will give you homework about the vocabulary words. I will take a picture for that and I will send it to you later. Okay? Okay, Ben? Ben, did you hear teacher? Okay, so teacher will give the homework and I will tell it to you later. Okay. I will just send the homework in here and then I will let you make sentence or I will let you make a paragraph for that. Okay, make a sentence or a paragraph for each given word. And by the way, Ben, if you can, please, okay, can you take a video of yourselves? Like you will say, what is your ambition in life? I don't like it. Ah, you didn't like it. Oh, it's okay. Okay. Instead of that, you will write. Do not speak, but write, okay? Okay. Yes. So teacher now, Ben, I don't have enough time. Teacher has another class. So teacher will say goodbye. I will see you on when? Friday again. Okay, okay Ben. Okay. Bye-bye, Ben. Have a nice day ahead. Enjoy. Bye-bye. Okay, see you.